Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, we are going to compare the power consumption of bulb style, let's just say classic style projector, and the new generation LED style small projector, and the 4K TV that I currently have with the 65 inch HDR 2018 models with this device. What this device do is we put it into a wall plug and then the other side of it, we got another plug here so we can measure the power consumption of our device, which we connected from this port. So what we're going to do is basically, first I will measure the Optimo UHD 35 4K 3600 lumens of projector, which is quite enough for me, and I daily use it with echo mode, but I will push the limits of this device, so I will measure one in echo mode, power consumption, one in echo plus, and one in the bright mode. So this way we will know what the difference in the usage mode can make, so that will also show us how much power we are going to add on by pushing the brightness or the contrast levels of our projector. One other thing is if you're into the LED projectors, next generation, new generation projectors, we will be taking a look at uh, the Wanbu that I have currently, Wanbu T2 Max New. So with that way, we will be measuring the power consumption of a full HD small device and the difference between a huge a uh, bulb style 4K projector or a small, maybe bedroom style uh, projector consumption. And then the 65 inch 2018 model TV will give us a generic uh, standard kind of like a power consumption for 65 inch TV. I know all these things depends on what's the efficiency of this devices, such as energy level of the TV. It could be A, B, A, F, G, whatever the uh, power consumption level is, like the refrigerators, it changes a lot to device to device. And also it's about the same with the Optimo Yoshi 35 here. What I'm going to try to do is basically give you an idea and how you can measure stuff and what's the general difference between the modes of, because many of the bulb projectors probably will be spending something near to this. So efficiency will change, power input or power uh, supply into these devices are changing. That's why the wall is uh, probably price is going up or down because of the contrast, because of the optical quality, because of the power consumption level. Everything affects, of course, but this will give you a general idea of a bulb style projector and LED style projector and the TV consumption all in one video. Let's get started. Optoma UHD 35 is right now in the echo mode and we are projecting 135 inch and I will just change the lens. Let's just get close to the consumption level. The thing that we want to know, this is right now 205, 204 watt-ish of power consumption uh, from the plug and we are going to change it I'm going to return here as you can see this is a lit room and I'm going to be putting from echo to dynamic and the fan noise is getting up and we got 249 let's just wait a bit and see the power difference it's around this 250 watts range and let's just change it again into you know pushing a button echo plus just go bright this is the bright mode by the way the camera setting is not about uh, the best picture quality just uh, it's automatic right now to show you easily this number which is the important part of this video not the visual quality so we are waiting uh, right now in the bright mode the fan noise is going up as usual it's around 292 watts 290 wait a bit i guess we are we are at the top of it right now 290 292 watt this is the power consumption of 3,000, 
600 uh, lumens of power, uh, general use, 4K DLP bulb style projector. This will be probably very similar to same amount of lumen power bulb, again, full HD projectors as well. It depends, of course, in many things, but this is the part of the big projector, projector device and how much it consumes. Let's go to the second part. This part of the video right now, as you can see, projection is here and the one boo LED projector is over there. I'll be opening the lights of the room and try to concentrate as the power consumption. As you can see, 55 watts, 54 plus. It's about 53 plus and 55 uh, watt ratio. The difference is huge, but please do remember this is a small projector for especially dark room or dimly lit uh, RGB kind of like a strip lit room because right now as you can see the same screen with the same lighting by the way this is a huge amount of light let me just show you with this lights I can review 4k pro project product videos so these lights are amazingly strong so nothing wrong with that with the white uh, screen like this even though it can show what you have but if you have dimly dimly lit room you can definitely get away with these sort of uh, led projectors so the power consumption is also about the power output of your led model so it's always changing how much led power do you have how much bulb power do you have but since it is just for demonstration purposes small projectors spend very little energy considering the uh, bulb projector models let's just test the tv right now we are going to look at the consumption of philips hue 65 inch tv with playing same video this is a 4k hdr tv i'm getting close to the consumption area and we got 265 watts and i will change the mode of the TV let's just try to change the visual mode if it's going to add anything or not this is visual style in Turkish I will make it vibrant and will it change anything because vibrant just changes. 260 watts again so for TV it's not changing anything that much if it works it works if it's not it's not 260 watt by the way this is a hue tv so we have extra led strips behind the tv so this is probably one of the most consumption tvs uh, power consumption tvs that you can have and definitely the energy level probably in the mid levels this is a 2000 i remember uh, it was a 2018 model uh, it's kind of getting older for five years but hdr decent tv for 65 inch you'll get at least an idea how all these three uh, consumes the power how much consumption they do finally the conclusion part is here and if you have watched this video until now you will have a clear idea which device spend how much energy the optima with the 290 plus uh, power consumption in the brightest mode is the most power consumption device in my setups all of my setups but basically when you go to the echo mode or echo plus mode 200 watts or 230 watts is quite less than 65 inch 4k tv by the way when we get close with the optimal uhd 35 and the other projectors i've shown you we can catch the same brightness or even more brightness with the projectors so that makes something interesting in my conclusion the projector is more efficient than the tv in the same contrast level i'm not saying in the black level but same brightness level might be the right word for it but uh, if you haven't watched my how you can catch the tv contrast with your projector video please go back and watch this that video under the comment section or around the page somewhere 
that will uh, help you to understand if you go close to a wall with the projector, if you have two walls in the same room, one wall is distant, one wall is closer, so you can turn your projector in a close wall and get a TV a contrast or brightness level. And in this case, with the 4K projector, you can catch the sharpness level too. And you turn your projector uh, to the other, other wall, with it, which is quite a distance, you can create huge screen sizes. So with that being said, Optoma seems like a more efficient device than my five-year-old 4K TV. That was some sort of a surprise for me. The one other thing is when we take a good look at the Wanbu style small projectors, which I can't really tell you the brightness level of it, at least in the declaration, because of the limitations of their launch, product launch, but it's a bright uh, projector for use of dimly lit room with just with the LED strips around the room where you can see yourself maybe mid-level lit room but this room is right now uh, is making me able to shoot 4k review videos so we have huge amount of lights here i've already tested lights and show you in my earlier videos how bright this room is so this is a very lit room and small projectors are not lit room environment projectors but even though that being said, if you're using in a dark room or dimly dark, uh, lit room, you can pretty much get away with the good quality models. And one boot just spends 55 watts of power at the top and around 52 at the bottom. So it is spending much less power. Of course, all these datas will be variant and changing depending your device, your TV efficiency levels like energy efficiency level A, B, C, E, F, it goes. So other than that, your projector brightness level. Optoma declares itself 3,600 uh, lumens of power output. So it might not be delivering all these powers uh, as it declared on the paper, but when it comes down to the general idea of it, you can compare this with a bulk, many projector models on the market, from the 3000 lumen power to the uh, 4000 uh, lumens of power. Uh, of course, the power supply inside also matters what kind of efficiency they have because the PC power supplies have the similar issues called 80 plus standard. If you're into a tech kind of thing, I've been reviewing computer parts over 15 years. so. We test power supply units by their efficiency most of the time. And if you have more efficient power supply inside the projector, then you might be able to get away with a similar power output, but much less power consumption. So that's also an option for the projectors with bulb style. And if you go to the LED area with brighter LED models, uh, my one bulb will not be just for everyone's example. But if you have something like LG, 1,500 lumens of power, kind of my old HF 60 LS style projector, or some of the Epson 3 LCD LED models like, I remember EF 100 kind of models. Those models are 1,000 lumens and above, and they are LED or laser, but they will probably consume much more than the one bull because they are producing brighter images. So it also depends on the device. But what we have learned, if you're going to use these devices over probably a couple of hours a day, you can calculate the power difference between each of them. But when we think about projectors and TVs, everybody is asking which one to go. Again, a plus to the projector. I think projector is efficient, more efficient than I imagined. So it's a plus on the home cinema lovers. So you can uh, purchase a projector and use it with less energy consumption than many TVs on the market. Because one of the things that I want to uh, make sure that some new TVs with the budget prices, like a T I'm not saying for against any TV, but some of the TCL models have good panels, good brightness, but their efficiency levels are low. If you're going low on the budget, 
for a TV, you'll probably ending up good brightness, but less uh, power efficiency. So if you're purchasing a TV, consider the efficiency level and how much going, you're going to use it in a daily basis. And that will create the price difference on the electricity overall a year. And that might change your idea to use a projector in an echo mode with probably 30% more efficient than my TV and even more, or use your projection in a brightness level, same as your TV power consumption. It's up to you. Uh, I believe this video gave you enough ideas and you can use the same power consumption measurement tools to measure your devices too. And let me know if you have any uh, power consumption values uh, that you want to share under the comment section below, which product that you use. Uh, if you have OLED TV, laser TV. Right now, the one thing that I haven't included in this video, my new projector, which is a 4K ultra short throw uh, Xiaomi uh, 150 inch. I will probably sh share videos with that device and with different screens as well in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and like, hit the like button. If you want to learn more and what kind of content do you want to see, just let me know under the comment section below. This is a hobby channel of mine and I want to teach people as much as possible for home cinema setups. Hope to see you in the next video. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, don't forget to watch the tutorials that I have prepared for you. Bye from now on.